In this video, I'm going to do something new, and I'm going to answer three questions in one video. The first question is, what is the difference between for and since? The second question is, what is the difference between at the gym and in the gym, or at the school, in the school? And the third question is the difference between have gone to and have been to. So the first question is about for and since. For is used to talk about a period of time, how long something happens. For example, I lived in America for 22 years. I have lived in Thailand for about 10 years. Today, I am going to talk to you for about three minutes. So we use for for how long the period of time is. Since is used to talk about the time at which something started. And usually, we are only going to use since with present perfect tense or past perfect tense. Let's look at some examples in present perfect tense. I have lived in Thailand since 2012. That means I came to Thailand in 2012 and I have been here beginning at that time, continuing until now. I have been teaching English since I was 22 years old. This means that I started teaching when I was 22. I'm still teaching now. You don't know how long I have been teaching, unless you know how old I am. If you know how old I am, you can figure that out. But if you don't know how old I am, it's not clear, because I didn't give you the total period of time. I only told you when it started. So, since specifies when something started. For specifies the total period of time. The next question, at the school or in the school? Usually, when we talk about a place, the school, the gym, the bank, the supermarket, we use at. We usually use at. That's it. If somebody is looking for you outside that place and you need to make it clear to them that they need to enter the building, then you might want to use in. Oh, you're at the supermarket? Where are you? Oh, you're outside? Okay, come in. I'm in the supermarket. But usually, you don't need to do that, so usually we use at. The third question was about have gone to and have been to. And many, many native English speakers do not even know that there is a difference. But technically, yes, there is a difference between these two phrases. I have gone to means I went there in the past and I'm still there now. That's why you can't find me. If my friend calls me and my friend says, Hey Mike, I'm at your house, but you're not opening the door. Where are you? Oh. Sorry, I have gone to the bank. I will be home later. So, I have gone to really means right now, I'm gone. I'm not at the place that I was before. Been to is better used for past experiences that are not important right now. I have been to Laos. I have been to Italy. I have been to Denmark, but I'm not at any of those places right now. 